Right, good morning everybody. Um, I just wanted to show you a bit more um, inside the partner with Anthony program. Just a quick little um, look. This is um, my fourth video now. So if people are interested, maybe they want to see a bit more inside before they decide to buy or whatever, if they're, they're going to join it. You know, it's well worth it anyway. So um, this is the, as I said before, this is the dashboard. So right, I'm going to go in. Um, Okay, we want to find partner with Anthony. This is on a phone, so it's slightly different to the laptop. They are partner with Anthony. Right, students, this is the student area. Access. And I'm going to go to module. <clears throat> right, these are all, as I said before, sorry, I'll start again. This is the, this is the video area. Um, these are the modules now. When, once you join... These will be your modules or lessons. There's like maybe four or five in each module and they're very short, about 10 minutes each. Um, I was, the last time I recorded a video, I think I was on 13 or now on 26. So I'm practically through the program, so I'm getting there. I've learned a hell of a lot, a hell of a lot. There's loads more to learn. I'm still a newbie and will be for a long time. But anyway, let's have a quick look now. Um, on session two, it talks about mindset. I want to show you this. And um, it's called Rethink Success. And I think it's very good for anybody who wants to be an entrepreneur, who's got entrepreneurial sort of um, ambitions. So I'll give you a little snippet of it. And you'll see, as you go through the course, it gives you pep talks, you can call them, or coaching talks. Because a lot of it is mindset. I mean, it's quite easy to quit as an entrepreneur if you haven't got the right mindset. So watch this little bit. This is a session two inside the course. So here we go. I'll just click on this. See what you think. Hey, what's up? Anthony Morrison here, and I want to welcome you to this module in the Partner with Anthony program. And what we're going to talk about here in this module is how entrepreneurs think differently and how you can train yourself to think differently in, in certain situations. And I think that's very important. I think it's important for me to teach you that. I think it's important for me to share those things with you because as an entrepreneur, we do have to think differently than our friends or, our, or people who are employees and people who don't have jobs and people who are in school and people who are retired. I mean, we do have to think a little bit differently, right? Um, I'm going to go through a couple of things that I've, that I've researched online that kind of fit into stories that I want to tell you. So the number one thing is, let's say that you have some success with this program, right? Like, let's say you go through the Partner with Anthony program, you have some success and you, you, you finish up and you go, man, I'm so lucky, Right? Well, here's the thing, and this is a very good, um, uh, this, is a, this is something that I truly believe. Um, somebody says, I've always worked very, very hard, and the harder I worked, the luckier I got. This is a quote that someone put online. And I truly believe, and, and you know, this is a whole story about it, that an entrepreneur does not believe in things like luck. Luck is literally an excuse, and it's unfair. It, it, what it does is it minimizes your success, right? I think that's unfair. Um, we need to retrain our brain to think about the fact that there is no really such thing as luck in this in this world right i mean maybe if you win the lottery or something like that but as an entrepreneur luck doesn't happen it's all about being in the right place at the right time focusing having the right direction finding the right mentor having somebody teach you along the way these are the, the elements that build up the path to our success so what we don't want to do is feel lucky right we don't want to feel lucky because that's not something that entrepreneurs ever ever will tell you that they are luck had anything to do with their success. It's all about planning. It's all about preparation. It's all about doing a little more today than everybody else did, right? So eliminate the word luck from your vocabulary because I truly don't believe uh, that, that it is something that, that you will ever experience, at least not through this program, right? And then freedom, okay? Now, there's another quote, and I've, I pulled up all these quotes because I really want to kind of tie them into stories, but there's another quote that says, there's only one success, to be able to spend your life in your own way. And the, I think that's important. Entrepreneurs truly believe that freedom is defined by being able to do whatever we want, right? By being able to live life on our own terms, by being able to do the things that we want to do on the schedule that we want to do them on. And I'm the world's worst at this, right? That's probably one of the most, well, my brain as an entrepreneur has shifted so much in that direction. Like, I absolutely hate to be inconvenienced with my time. I like to be able to do what I want to do when I want to do it, how I want to do it, for however long I want to do it, right? 
And some people might look at that and say, well, it's diva or it's selfish or it's this or it's that, but it's really not. It's called being an entrepreneur. That's what we work so hard for. We work hard for that freedom, right? And I want you to stay focused on that. I want you to think a little differently. I want you to start thinking about what would life be like if nobody could tell you what to do, if no one could tell you when to do it, and if no one could tell you how long you had to do it. Think about that. If you could truly just wake up and do what you want when you want to do it. There are some positives to that, right? Because you can do whatever you want. But as an entrepreneur, we also have to be responsible. Okay, now that's another piece of this puzzle. is responsible for our work and our life balance. Okay? You know, one of the hardest things for me when I was, when I was growing up, when I started my business, was understanding that work and life balance. Because all of my friends, all of my family, all, all, all everybody, they went to movies, they went on vacations, they had a weekend, they got off at 5 o'clock, you know, and that just didn't happen for me. As an entrepreneur, I had to retrain my brain. I had to rethink about life, and I couldn't fit my life into the box that, that, so, that, that corporate America and that everyone else fits in. I couldn't wake up at 9 a.m. and stop at 5 p.m. In fact, as I film this session for you in this module, it's 5.45. So 45 minutes ago, everybody else around me got off work, but here I am still doing what I do. And I don't feel like I'm putting in overtime, and I don't feel like I'm putting in extra time, and I don't feel like I'm eating into my personal time. What I feel like is this is what I got to do because this is my responsibility. You see, as an entrepreneur, you have to rethink the way that you balance your work and your, and your personal life, right? And you have to understand, and it's, uh, it's, it's, there was a, a quote that Henry Ford made that I thought was really important. Uh, and I thought it really kind of, it, show, it showcases how I feel and how so many entrepreneurs feel. I do not believe a man can ever leave his business. He ought to think of it by day and dream of it by night. Think about that. Think of it by day and dream of it by night. If you teach yourself to rethink this business, and it is not a something you do on the side. It is not something that you do occasionally. It's not a hobby. It is something that you are thinking about every day, and when you go to bed at night, you are dreaming about it, right? Because it means so much to you, and it's such a part of your DNA. It's such a part of who you are. And you know, when I, when I first started my business, I remember, I, remember I, would, I would be at the computer, and I would just be so in the zone. I'd be working and working and working, and I'd get so tired. And so I go lay down and try to go to sleep. And my computer and my desk were right beside my bed, right? So I lay down and I go to sleep. I would have dreams about what I was doing before I went to bed because I never quit really thinking about it. And at 3 or 4 in the morning, I'd wake up, and sometimes I would jump right back on the computer, and I would start banging away some of the stuff because I, I would have had these, these ideas and all these things because I was literally dreaming about my business while I was sleeping. Now, you have to take it to that degree. I'm not really sure. Uh, that's something that I've always, always done. But you do have to remember that as an entrepreneur, you do have to carve out more time in the day for you to focus on your business because the more time you put in, the better results you're going to get. If you were an employee that works at any kind of business, right? Just pick a business. doesn't matter which one it is. If that business stayed open and had its employees there, instead of from 9 to 5, if it was open, you know, from 9 in the morning till midnight, well, there's a pretty good chance that it'd be more successful. Or in a resource, they need to fund their next big vision or their next dream. Uh, there are far easier ways to get rich, and entrepreneurs, especially in the early days of their companies, they make far less money than they could just getting a job. That's what's so important. You know, as we invest this time into the Partner with Anthony program, we have to think about the fact that all the time that you spend watching these videos could be time that you were getting paid, I don't know, $8 an hour, $12 an hour, somewhere else or at some job. But you're investing that time for that bigger payoff, right? Making money has to be something where you see that it's, as an entrepreneur, it's not about the dollars and cents. It's about the accomplishment. It's about the goal setting and the achieving of the goal. It's about starting where you're at today getting and reaching that goal and the self, the accomplishment that you feel when you reach that goal. That's what's got to motivate you and drive you. It can't be the specific dollars and cents of every single vision. My first business, well, not my first business, but one of my first businesses uh, was a seminar company where I went and I did seminars around the country and I taught people affiliate marketing much like this. And 
I was so excited when I did my first seminar. Yeah, you can see I even use these types of mics even when I'm on a set. This is for live speaking and live events. It has nothing to do with sitting in a studio. Um, but I like it. I just this is what what feels comfortable to me. It was one of my first businesses, and I'll never forget. I felt so accomplished when we did our first seminar. Now we lost money. Everything that could go wrong went wrong. Everything went wrong. We lost money, but. I felt so accomplished, because, and I felt so great about it, because I had done it. I had, out of thin air, this kid from Mississippi who had never done a seminar a day in his life, never even been to a seminar, had created this seminar company, and we went, and we did this event, and people showed up, and it was great, even though we lost money, right? We see, and entrepreneurs see, business and success in business as accomplishing goals, and the money is a byproduct of accomplishing those goals, and the more you rethink being an entrepreneur, the more you train your brain to think about, I just want to accomplish goals, right? The faster you'll start to see money as a byproduct and not the main driving force behind what you do. And when you do that, you're going to make more money because if we're focused on the money, we're not focused on the goal. See what I'm saying? And that makes it very difficult to make more of the money. So focus each day on completing the goals, complete the tasks, complete the modules in the Partner with Anthony program, and I guarantee you the byproduct of that will be more success, more commissions, more money than if you're just chasing the fastest way to make a dollar really quick. And the last thing I'll talk to you about is advice and experimentation. Look, entrepreneurs seek advice. We are not people that like to sit around and try to do it all on our own. As an employee, you might sit in there and you might say, man, I don't want to ask somebody for advice because then they're going to know I don't know how to do this and that person might come try to get my job and all this. As an entrepreneur, we like to watch, listen, and learn. We like to know that we can't do it all ourselves. And we like to know that we can reach out to people that can help us because the more knowledge we can get, the more help we can get, the more people that we can involve in our business, the more success we can have. Right? So always seek advice and always experiment. You'll, always, you'll hear me tell you this throughout the program. Always be testing. There's never a failure if you're testing something new. Right? doesn't mean that it's always going to work. We filmed actually many TV shows right here in this studio that completely bombed. They never, nobody would watch them. People didn't like them. It was totally terrible. Right? But we would have never found the ones that worked if we hadn't have tested the ones that didn't work. You're not always going to hit the bullseye on the first shot. Right? Mm -hmm. A lot of times we have to take multiple shots. We have to learn and we have to adapt and we have to grow. This is all part of rethinking, training your brain to think like an entrepreneur. Think a little differently because when you think a little differently, you're going to do things a little differently and you're going to get the results that maybe you haven't had before because you haven't been thinking like an entrepreneur. So I hope this lesson has helped you take some notes and do me a favor. Leave me a comment below. There should be a, a comments box below this. Leave me a comment. Let me know what you think. Do, did this help you? Was this beneficial? Does this make you have kind of hit the reset button and think a little bit differently about your business, about the Partner with Anthony program and about everything that you're doing as an entrepreneur because I truly want to believe and I want to know that as we go through this, I am helping you succeed at the very highest level while also guiding you in the right direction, the right way, not just with the nuts and bolts of the internet, but also with how to think right and be right so that you can have the success that you want. So leave me some comments and then move on to the next module. Right, I hope you enjoyed that. Um, I know it was a bit long, but obviously it's all about mindset, as you said. I mean, obviously not everybody wants to go to the ultra, ultra extreme as an entrepreneur and become a multi-millionaire. It'd be nice, but I mean, Anthony's probably an exception. Um, but, you know, and most people just like to have security. I, that's what I'm after, and enough money to pay their bills and have a holiday every year and, you know, not have too much stress. Obviously, in the beginning, you're going to have to work hard at it and, Oh, well, you're always going to have to work hard if you want to have any success or anything. But, you know, obviously it does get easier once you build it. Um, so, yeah, that's just a snapshot of um, inside partner with Anthony, a bit more information. Let him tell you rather than me. Um, my name's Matt. Hopefully you've seen some of my other videos I've made free now. Plus there's lots of others on my YouTube channel, which I'm building as well. Um, I'll put in the link underneath. It's a blue link. And just click on that. If you're interested, it will take you to the Partner with Anthony course. Sign up. It's only $7 a month. Or you can pay a lump sum, $98, which that means you paid for life. And you've got 30 modules to go through in your own time. Um, and the knowledge you'll get will be unbelievable. You just, you'll be, you know, you go from newbie to quite almost an expert. And it will stand you in good stead. And you can use that knowledge for everything. It's not just about Partner with Anthony. He, 
you know, you can promote his products, which there's loads and loads of his products. But once you learn those skills, you can promote your own products. You can go on to ClickBank, which is another big affiliate site I said before. Choose anything off of there. It could be anything that you, you fancy promoting. Um, there's other ones as well. You can promote Amazon stuff. You can promote, I don't know, there's just so many affiliates. Most companies have an affiliate program. You find your own, what you're interested in, your niche. If you're interested in um, health, you go into that niche. If you're interested in fitness, you can go into that niche. If you're interested in relationships, you can go into that niche. Niche finance, you can go into that niche. Martial arts. You know, you find your own niche that you enjoy doing. So you, when you sell those products, you'll, you know, you'll enjoy it. If you're into business, then you go into the business niche. Well, you mix and match and go into different niches. Um, so you find your own path. This is what he, this is what he teaches you. He doesn't just try and teach you. You'll say, grow, move on. You know, I do partner with Anthony. When you've got the basics, you can use my products, but also do your own. So he's, he's, not, just, um, he's not just giving you a fish, as they say, the old saying is. He's actually teaching you to fish. So you can, you know, at the moment, the way things are in society, we, you know, it's, um, with the COVID-19, it's, it's scary times and people are losing their jobs. So I'd imagine a lot of people would want to learn this knowledge. Because I'd imagine even if you don't want to do it self-employed, this knowledge could be used in a job for someone else because the stuff he's teaching you, the marketing and everything, and the skills you learn about building these things called funnels, which people, all the sales companies use. You're learning so many skills that they're transferable. You could get a job with these skills as well. Or you can do it part-time. You don't have to dive in and um, do it 100% you know, all your life. And it's going to take time anyway. I'm looking at the long, the long game, like thinking maybe a year or two down the line, it will be my um, kind of pension. Because I'm semi-retired as it is, I'm 50, oh, what's 50, I wish I was 59, now I'm 60, just turned 60. Um, so it's going to be my, um, it's an add-on to my pension, you know, I haven't got a very good pension, I've only got a cash pension. As I said before, I worked for a company for 12 years, I've been self-employed before that. Then I kind of went through a phase where I thought, oh, you know, I'll try working for a company, which I did. And it was all right, as he, as he said, it was that sort of mentality that people have when they work for a company, like, you know, that I can't share anything. I, it makes you very, um, I don't know what the word is, probably selfish in a way, but you become a bit closed down. You don't want to share information in case you lose your job. And it's the total opposite to what an entrepreneur would be, as he says. But anyway, yeah, I'm glad I got back into entrepreneurship, really, because that's in, in my nature, really. But as I said, you see, you know, you can learn it as well. It's not something you're born with, you learn. Your confidence grows. As I'm on a mo as I say, I'm on module 26 now, and I started, what, I've taken it slowly. I've started in August. And I've had some sales. Not many, but I'm getting there. But I've built my this thing called a list, which is um, very important. That is an asset, as they call it, an online asset. You build an email list. People subscribe to your emails. And you can send them emails and form a relationship with them. And maybe the stuff they'll be interested in. You help them. They help you. They'll buy other stuff. That's kind of like how they call it an online asset. And obviously, over time, you can build that and build that and build that. That's a very good thing to have. So, um, you know, if you're interested, as I say, the link's down below on the right. It will be a blue link. Just give it a click and have a look. You know, join up. £7.50. What you got to lose? Okay. The way, you know, I'm, I'm not, um, also, as you go along, there will be a couple of tools. There's a thing called ClickFunnels. There's a thing called GetResponse, which is an email 